Reproductive cells which produce sperm and egg cells are very special because of this. They are the only cells in our body to have a single set of our 23 chromosomes. And this is so that when the egg is fertilised, we get an equal number of chromosomes from each parent, so that we get the full set of 46 chromosomes, or 23 pairs. For the first time, I think I actually understand it. But why do we have so many chromosomes? Well, we are very complex creatures, you know. Each chromosome contains a number of genes, which are basically chemical instructions for one particular feature. For example, eye colour. or hair type and colour or height or limb length etc. But there are so many options for variation. How does all that work? Basically, some genes are said to be more dominant than others. So for instance, if one parent was to contribute a brown eye gene, and the other parent was to contribute a blue-eyed gene, the brown-eyed gene would be dominant over the blue-eyed gene, which is said to be recessive. This means that the child has brown eyes. Well, I see. But why do people have blue eyes then? Hold on. Is it because that both parents contribute a blue-eyed gene? So there's no brown-eyed gene present at all? Yeah, you're getting the hang of this now. OK, so when each chromosome finds its partner, the genes match up too. Right. Well, that all seems logical. Good.